All right, guys, thanks for coming out and checking out this video. If you're just now checking this out on YouTube or what have you, um, I'm currently live streaming. I played a little bit of Star Marine, a little bit of Arena Commander. What I'm going to do now is actually do a walkthrough of the Drake Caterpillar. I'm going to show you the really cool ship that it is. Uh, I found that if I go to single player, or I, could, I guess I could do private. Let's go private. Uh, what I was doing was, whoa, where was I at? Free flight. It can be anywhere. I'm going to put broken moon just because it's blue. And then we will not go with this saber. I will select a ship and we will pick the Drake Caterpillar, which is located right here. Drac. Yeah. Did it select it? Did it, did it let me click it? I'm on free flight. Open moon. Ah, it's not letting me do it. Okay, maybe not on private. So on single player what the hell Let's try it again single player there it is free flight broken moon select the ship caterpillar here we go Walk around. There we go. We're in the caterpillar. Whoops. think of that. I'm going to go land. Then I can get out of the thing and walk around. Before I was just... Mm-hmm. with this thing. It's not giving me a choice.
I have a feeling there's going to be an accident. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something completely different. <laughs> Let's see what that does. Okay, so we're, I'm in this caterpillar. Here we go. And check out the bridge. Just the, the cockpit or whatever. It looks like it's a two-seater. Pilot seat and co-pilot seat. Very cool. It looks like you would normally be able to be on the other side of it. I haven't figured that out yet. the details on that. I'm just going to let you guys see every little bit if you want to see just the texture and the cloth, the seat belts. Those are like the first seat belts I've ever seen, I think. All these doors want to open like Star Trek. You walk next to them and they start opening, so... That's really cool. Well, this is, oh wait, there's more seats. Hmm. A couple more seats back here. That'll take me across the ship to the... This is like the main hull of the ship. You go to the other side, it takes you up to the tractor beam, right? Right there, you got like a little barcode. <laughs> I don't know what that's for. For the glass R04-44 or whatever. Don't know. I, get, I assume you're going to be controlling the tractor beam from here. Loading your cargo, unloading and unloading the cargo. That takes you down to the main body of the ship or whatever. That takes you to a EVA access right there. I guess it's a hatch above or near, yeah, above. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Okay, back up just a little bit, let the door close. It says upper hallway. All right, there, this takes you to the server room, server access, and then over here, power plant access. So they the server has a power plant access also. There's like two doors that go to the same place. So we just go there. Server access. Server. Look at all that data. Looks very, very uh, 
uh, useful in, in the verse. Okay, so this took us to what? The power plant, right? Well, this is the power plant. The Juno Starwork. Starwerk. Yeah, it's a um, cap one, cap two, some red, some greens. There's probably a lever there you're supposed to pull at some point. Yeah, this is a, it's the power, the power plant. The next door takes you to the jump drive. Okay, so I guess this room here is the jump drive access. Right here, the green boxes are jump drives. Very cool, very cool. There's a ladder going down. Now we could take this ladder. That's what I think we could do. That ladder puts us in Z engine room. So now we are in Z engine room. And you can use that. You know, it's the same old stuff you would see if you were, you know, power required, you know, adjusting things, you know. And then you've got components, access denied, denied. Things are overheating and stuff like that. This is pretty interesting. Now I'm out. Takes a second to get away. Okay, so now, hypothetically, let's say we're in a fire pit. Okay, and I come and I get real close to this, and of course my gun goes up, right? So now I can actually lean. I want to show you the lean in third person. Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> Okay, so if I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so let's say I'm here. It's not letting me lean. Okay, see the gun? See how it moved out like that a little bit? Now, whoa, now I go lean. Why do I have a med pin in my hand? That's a bug. <laughs> I did it again. Now it should automatically lean you if you go down sights. Right, see that? I'm pressing the right mouse button to lean and push down sights. That's cool. I don't see that in Star Marine right now. I see that only in the uh, on the category. Okay, this is a turret. It's kind of buggy. I've tried using it. Um, it puts you. Let's holster that. Yeah, it, there's a lot of clipping, and I found myself halfway in the hull of the ship a little while ago. So, you know, how am I supposed to see anything? See my foot? Let's get out of that. See, right there, I'm in the ship somewhere. Luckily, it snaps me to right there, standing inside the turret, so I don't get all crazy. Okay, so then you got the lower walkway. We remember the upper walkway. We have the lower walkway. I don't know what's this. I don't know what this is. Just life support. Emergency supplies. What would that be? Fuses or rations? I don't know. I don't know. 
and then it takes you to the elevator room, which we'll get to the elevator in just a moment. There's the gun rack, right? And then habitation. This is where your beds are. I wonder if this is a, what is what, what is this? Just some kind of corner. Okay. So yeah, there's your four bunks and some place to sit down with your buds, and drink a coffee, eat a ration, and then you can cook some stuff here. You got like four burners and a sink. And the all important fresher. So you can drop a deuce, you can wash your hands afterwards. And it looks like it might also be a shower, but I don't know if that's a shower or if that is a. Yeah, it probably is because there's a drain on the bottom. That probably that seat probably folds up out of the way so you can take a shower. All right, now these are the cargo compartments. This is the, from the habitation that goes into the cargo compartments. I don't want to leave this section first. Let's go back. There was a section skipped it said oh, stairs right yeah stairs going up and this is the main left right hallway so you got one that takes you to the what you call it tractor beam and then one that takes you back to the bridge right bridge there's a ladder back here. Takes you to the lower part of the bridge module, right? It has its own shower, toilet, sink, right? And it has its own hot plate and sink. Four more beds and a table. So, you know, basically you got eight beds on this bad boy, right? And then this is probably another tractor beam control position. I don't know. Kind of looks that way. Heat. Always good to have heat. Heat in space. But there's no door. This looks like a door. It's not going to let me use it to get outside. But you would normally be able to do that. Like on the, when you're on the ground or whatever. Okay. So we're back upstairs. Back in the cross hallway. We saw EVA access, right? Which was... Now, the EVA access also has the, what do you call them, gangways. They go through the different compartments. Okay, so we're just going to go through all the different compartments. They're all exactly the same. We're going to work our way back through them, too, so don't worry about that. Okay. And then now you're into the front. There should be a turret right here. We're going to use it. I haven't used this turret yet. Automatically won't let me shoot. Yeah, I thought it wouldn't. Anywhere on the ship, so I couldn't like aim down and shoot the ship. Okay. Let's get out of this thing. 
That medi pin, man. It's going down the line. Can't get, get rid of it. So it should say port as the left, starboard, that's the right. So I was hoping there was a way for that to go all the way out and then down like it's supposed to. You know, it's supposed to open up and then go up and down. What do you think? Looks pretty cool, huh? Why is it not turning with me? <clears throat> okay, I'm confused. Yeah, when I push forward, it goes towards that crosshair there. Aha. Okay. Does that mean... That's a new thing. Okay. I keep hitting that button. Ah, okay. So it's like decoupled. And that would be the door. 
right, that led, led into the bridge area. The living quarters and bridge area. It'd be this door right here. Maneuvering thruster. Now those are engines for the bridge thing, because I understand that it can decouple or deconnect and fly on its own. That'll be cool when that happens. When they figure that when they figure out that me mechanic of the game. They built it to be able to do it, but it can't do it just yet. That's my understanding. I'll do the aliens thing and just hide in the engine. Yeah. Gear is out. Looks good. Don't, what do you think? It does look good. It's just, I don't know about the whole shape of the ship being like this long tube out front. Did I break some glass? Look at the glass flying, that's pretty cool. I know nothing's gonna break. That's new, I haven't seen that before. That's really cool. Yeah, and here's the EVA access that you don't have access to. thing I wanted to show you. Once we get through all these modules. And we get past the living quarters. Right here. This is what's called the elevator room. I can use it from here. To get to a certain point, I'm going to be in zero G. There's multiple ways to get into this bad boy. Nice. See? 
All right, so I think I've gone through everything in the caterpillar for you. Even the engine room, which is double. Got two in, two big, huge engine things. Each one of these little power, or whatever they are, um, what, what would you call them? Pistons? No, I don't know. Uh, handle each. Of, yeah, there's like eight on each side, so it's sixteen piston engine. Yeah, and this takes you to the jump drive, or this is this is probably the maneuver drive system. Quantum drive, and yeah, it looks really good. Look at this. What's that for? Water. Some people won't do this. It won't get dirty. All right, and that's it. That's it for me tonight. Uh, thanks for coming out and checking out my uh, playthroughs earlier. And now my um, caterpillar walkthrough. If you've got any questions or anything, drop them in the chat, uh, in the in, or in the uh, in the comments below. If you like the videos, please like them. If you want to subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel, click the PayPal me link in the description below. And I'll see you next time.